The nature of this video is to provide information, it is not medical advice. Well today I'd like to talk about Remicade. Remicade in the setting of autoimmune disorders and diseases, also known as generic infliximab. Um, Remicade is prescribed as a tertiary drug uh, many times to, for folks with ulcerative colitis, specifically um, when they have failed drug therapy such as uh, 5 ASAs um, or immunomodulators um, and, such as 6 mercapurine or azathioprine. And it is also a steroid sparing drug for folks that are either non responsive to steroids such as prednisone or are steroid dependent um, and experiencing the negative side effects of, of those steroids. Um, sometimes physicians do move to it as a first line drug, but that's the practice of medicine and that's uh, not our goal here to discuss that. We're talking about just the drug here and trying to understand it a little bit more. This isn't medical advice here. So what is Remicade? So Remicade is a biologic response modifier. It's part of the drug class biologics. You'll see them advertised on TV quite a bit. The, right now, Humera is being, there's an ad campaign for Humera and it's in that it's in that class. It's been around for 19, 20 years um, and uh, been prescribed for multiple autoimmune disorders. Um, and what it is, is, is a chimeric monoclonal antibody. Well, what does that mean? Chimeric meaning that derived from two species. This is mouse protein as well as human protein. Okay. And it's about 25% uh, mouse protein and 75% human protein. Okay, that's what chimeric means. Monoclonal meaning it, it binds to a specific antigen. Okay, as opposed to polyclonal, uh, which is going to bind to uh, multiple antigen sites, the monoclonal IgG antibody is going to bind to a specific site on the tumor necrosis factor alpha, which is part of the uh, mechanism of action that what this monoclonal IgG antibody does in the human body. So what it does is it attaches to that site on TNF and blocks TNF from being able to attach to cells and uh, instigate an inflammatory cascade. Well, to understand that, we really need to talk about what tumor necrosis factor alpha does in our body. Well, um, TNF alpha is a strong pyrogen in the body. Um, it can cause fever. It uh, can cause cell death. And it is involved with... Um, it is involved with decreasing cancer cells in the body, um, as well as stopping viral replication. Um, other things it does is it also promotes uh, cytokines such as um, such as interleukin, uh, interleukin one, interleukin. Six, um, which are going to be pro-inflammatory in the body. Um, it's going to go ahead and increase your WBC or your white blood cell uh, migration through uh, leaky leaky uh, capillaries in the body at the sites of inflammation. Um, it, it, there's a lot of different things that TNF does in the body that are that cause inflammation. Um, in these autoimmune disorders and specifically uh, ulcerative colitis that it's the TNF is going to be causing all all this edema in in the local areas because of, of this inflammatory cascade and, and ulcerations and bleeding and etc all the things that you get with these types of autoimmune diseases and by stopping this inflammatory cascade, then we allow tissues to heal. And, and that is exactly what 
the goal of using this drug is, is to stop the inflammation so that we can get the tissues to heal. <laughs> um, so ulcerative colitis, what is the FDA, this drug, Remicade, is approved for ulcerative colitis. It's also approved for Crohn's disease, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, um, psoriatic arthritis, ankylizing spondylitis, and plaque psoriasis. Um, and all this information is available on uh, the Remicade website. If you Google Remicade, it's pretty much the first hit. And you can go through their website and, and read about the drug and what the company has to say about the drug and um, what the FDA also has to say about the drug. Um, so the dosage of Remicade, we're going to talk about dosage and specifics to uh, ulcerative colitis. And the dosage for ulcerative colitis treatment per the website, the Remicade website, uh, five milligram per kilogram um, given as IV infusion. And it's given at a zero, two, and six week induction period and then your maintenance is going to be every eight weeks of IV infusion after that and it's usually given over two hours it's it's done at a it can be done in the inpatient setting in severe disease if if a patient has to be hospitalized or it can also be done at an infusion center um, and those folks go in as outpatients and, and get their infusions that way um, so then this dose here is going to be different for the different indications that we discussed up here. Um, so we talk about some of the, uh, cautions that, um, the website kind of tells us about where you want to be care, where, where physicians are going to want to be careful using the drug per the website, um, is congestive heart failure, um, Infection and sepsis, sepsis being systemic uh, body infection. Um, and, and we can understand why, why that would be because up here we talked about the action is, is to stop tumor necrosis factor um, inciting the inflammatory and immune response. And so we can see that it's going to go ahead, this drug puts... A little damper on our immune system so um, it, we're the body isn't going to be able to fight infection or as well as it would um, if tumor necrosis factor alpha was activated um, also lactation and murine protein hypersensitivity cost cost and use in and in murine uh, that just means uh, mouse that is referring to the mouse proteins that is used in Remicade. So Remicade is a drug that is biologic class modifier used in autoimmune diseases, uh, binds to tumor necrosis factor alpha and decreases inflammation in the body. Um, I hope this was helpful, kind of a little bit of an overview of Remicade. And um, again, this isn't medical advice, it's just dissemin dissemination of information.